Hello there guys and welcome. Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be quite a brief video at the very least. Uh, I did not have too much time to actually play about. So I took my mojo to rank 2 uh, not too long ago but I didn't really record much about and with him because I was running Suicide Masters all the time and obviously no Mystic Dispersion. But now that Alliance War Season has started I have taken them off. In addition to that I just just got the last missing fragments that I had in TFIB, um, catalyst uh, shortage, so to speak, and I finally am taking him to rank 3. So today's video is going to be all about Mojo, pretty much. Now, also, to be completely transparent for the reasons of the rank up, the way our alliance basically functions is at the beginning of every new Alliance War season, we are handed out a list of defenders that our officers would like to have available for them on defense, and that we are missing. And then basically we kind of just call dibs on the champions and uh, volunteer the champions that we do have that we wouldn't mind ranking and so on and so forth. So uh, as soon as I saw the list, I volunteered for two champions immediately. One was Hulkbuster and the second one was Mojo. Now I was planning to rank up Hulkbuster either way, but I wasn't really planning on ranking up Mojo. But with Mojo... Uh, the thing is, I do find him extremely fun. I don't think he's the most amazing Mystic Champion in the game. I don't think he's the top option. But I do think he is also extremely underrated. And uh, I enjoy using him. <laughs> My Mojo is only SIG 20. That's another issue, however. Because the higher SIG you have your Mojo at, the more damage he does. And currently, I do not have any immediate plans to give him Signature Stones. Perhaps, maybe, after I have finished... Uh, Sigging up Dr. Doom, but we'll see about that. But ultimately, yes, this is primarily a defensive rank up for Alliance or Defense. And then secondly, it's also a bit of a fun rank up. The reason why I jumped and uh, volunteered to rank Mojo is because I do not have a maxed out 5 star. And I do find the guy extremely fun. And I think he can be useful with his passive degen, uh, with his region, with his access to unstoppable, if need be, one synergy. And uh, overall, yeah, this guy just uh, is one of those kind of like weird love-hate relationship characters, similar to Immortal Love Abomination. You absolutely hate looking at the guy, but eventually it kind of grows on you, and both Immortal Love Abomination and Mojo are very, very fun to play. Now, I only had about 10 minutes to record some gameplay with him uh, before Alliance War attack phase started, and uh, yeah, at this point the Alliance War has already started, so I couldn't record too much gameplay here. But uh, obviously Mojo is also a ramp-up character, and that's like one of the two things about his signature ability. Uh, number one most important effect that you gain from the signature ability is that persistent charge, and that you do not have to ramp him up in every single quest. That's so helpful questing, because Mojo is at its best, well, he has at least uh, five of those uh, followers or subscribers charges, and then you basically start passive, start placing buffs that expire quickly on opponents, that synergizes with Mystic Dispersion, and there's a ton of cool things happening in between, in between regen and degen, and uh, yeah, once you rank up, ramp up Mojo in a fight, it's a good time getting him there, maybe not so much. But that's why the three fights so important, because you can start the fights ramped up. The second f thing about the signature ability is that you get that Fury, and Fury's potency is increased uh, the higher your signature ability is. But yeah, that is more damage, and it's obviously nice, and I do want my Mojo to do more damage, offensively and defensively. But for now, he's SIG 20, so he's not hitting as hard as he could and or should at a super high SIG level. One thing that I definitely do like about Mojo a lot is he's a mystic character that does not really rely on opponent having buffs, and you can still get a fairly good use out of him without opponent having buffs. So this fight, with the entire ramp up process, with like 118 hits, and then later on, obviously, the quicker you start with 5 charges, you can cut it down a bit, and uh, this is also completely unboosted, SIG 20, so basically as weak as... Uh, 6 star awakened mojo can be in terms of damage but it's still not too bad obviously he's not going to be my potion farming champion or anything like that but i do like him i do like him quite a bit and these fights are the ones where opponents have no buffs 
but uh, I think uh, once we get to the one where I did manage to record uh, where opponents do have buffs, then it's going to be a bit more interesting and the degen numbers are going to be going a bit crazy as well. We can see that even now with six degens active, uh, you get like nearly 3k there, 2.5k per tick uh, with five degens after every level two. That is a quite significant amount of damage. Now we do have a level three. Uh, it's a ton of hits. I don't want to make you guys sit through that. And then we can carry on here. But yeah, we can see that a degen is definitely putting in quite a solid amount of work for SIG 20 Mojo. And uh, yeah, he definitely is fun to fight. Now, there are obviously some problems with using Mojo. For instance, going up against stun immune opponents or opponents that uh, you can't parry and heavy down, well, knock down reliably, uh, sometimes can be iffy. And obviously playing Mojo is a bit random because you never know which prompts are gonna proc up. It is nice, half of the time the prompts are very, very easy to fulfill, like end a buff or corner the opponent or just activate a special attack and things like that. Those are very, very easy, most of the cases. And sometimes, obviously, you might need to stun the opponent when opponent is stun immune. And also, in order to reset the prompt, uh, you need to land a heavy attack. And if opponent is stun immune, then it's no easy task. One of the cooler things, though, that will be on a full display in a moment is the Mojo's region. And that region gets more potent the lower Mojo's health actually is. And uh, that is a very, very fun time. So I'm going to use him here against Old Man Logan. And Old Man Logan obviously can periodically gain a plethora of buffs. And uh, that will make this fight quite a bit fun. Now, again, I'm going to make a big mistake here at the start and I'm going to nearly die. And that's going to give me a perfect chance to showcase that region. So I'm at 45% health here. Accidentally parried him. I think I'm going to eat a level one somewhere in a second here. Uh, now, yeah, here I tried to charge heavy attack. Luckily, I was unstoppable, but I did eat that level one and I'm at very few percent health now. And uh, I do want to land my special attack pretty much immediately. That gets me up to like 9%. So 9% is our starting health at this point, at the very beginning of the fight. And uh, we're going to see that Regen put in some serious work in second. So I ate another hit just because. Just because why not to make the fight even more close? 7%, right? So now we can start trying to regen back up. And also the times when, obviously, Wolverine is going to snap and trigger a ton of buffs, it's going to be fun. It's going to be quite awesome. But yeah, still at 9% health here. Uh, still quite close, still need to be very, very careful. Hopefully this region triggered quite nicely here. Uh, don't think it had expired, but I'm at 10% now. Uh, Mystic Dispersion at max in few matchups like this one is going to be fairly tricky to man manage. But in all fairness, there isn't much difference whether you're dropping level 2 or level 3 in most cases. So there's that. Uh, basically, level 2 and level 3 are more or less kind of like this, do the same thing. And we can see that I'm already back up at 17%. I'm just consistently triggering that region. And uh, we have plenty of degens on the guy as well. Uh, but let's just try and slow down a bit and, and or pause maybe when next time we get a bunch of those. Because there are some very, very interesting numbers uh, that uh, definitely look and feel cool. Right, so he's still uh, not snapping here. I'm just slowly but surely regening, dealing all the damage. Now I need to end the buff, which is fair enough. I don't, I actually don't, I think I'm going to mess one. Oh no, here is the prompt, so I just need to land a hit. Fair enough. So I did that, get to my level two, and we can see that now he's going to be triggering the buffs and they're expiring and he has like, what, 14, 16, 15 degens. And uh, let's just try and rewind this a bit. So before the level three, and I'm going to skip the level three. So we can see three numbers basically dealing damage simultaneously. And I think all of them, by the first glance, basically add up to close to six, seven thousand, something like that per tick. So it's about fourteen thousand damage per tick here, and that's at Sig twenty. Obviously, when you have higher Sig, that degen is going to be even more potent. And we're going to go here after the level three for a moment. He has twenty-two of these buffs, and uh, that's just quite crazy amount of damage. And the fight itself, uh, it's not the quickest way, obviously, how to do labyrinth fights, even when you have access to all this extra amount of buffs. There are 
champions who are capable of outputting more damage, and that's perfectly fine. Mojo himself would be capable of outputting more damage if he had higher SIG. But at the same time, uh, even at SIG 20, he's clearly doing a respectable amount of damage, and uh, the fight is going down. Old man Logan here is at like 45%. I have regened all the way back up to 40%. And that is one of the things I also often notice as criticism for Mojo, because he he takes a lot of chip damage, and that is absolutely true. But in a regular fight, uh, you just kind of need to get used to using Mojo at about like 40 to 60% health. Because once you have taken enough chip damage for that matter, that region gets potent enough to deal with that chip damage and kind of overcome it, and he actually becomes quite sustainable. So I do like that aspect. I'm not like with many champions, it's very, very annoying, especially if some champions have low health pools, like Hitmonkey, for instance, is uh, completely done over by his small health pool and pathetic block proficiency. Uh, with Mojo, it's not that bad because of that region and because of the fact that it's, it's very frequent and it gets more and more potent the lower your health bar is. You can see 20 DJs here on that poor old man Logan. Man, he's just taking it. And he's getting absolutely smacked with them dislikes, right? And uh, yeah, so the fight is coming to an end slowly, but surely I'm going to rewind towards the finish here. Still taking like 12 degens there at a time. Now there is none. He's about to get one more. And I think it probably is going to be like one more set of big degens in this place. But yeah. Knock down a champion. Now this is annoying. Uh, so I'm going to use my level 1 here. Because otherwise I can't parry heavy him anymore. And uh, yeah, we knocked him down. He drops heavy attack. Why not? Right, he's at 9%. I, I'm trying to remember. Does he trigger a bunch of buffs before the end? Or doesn't he? I think he does. I'm quite sure he does. And it's going to be a decent finish. Right, but at this point he's already at 40% though, so there's, so there's not all that much of old man Logan left. He gets a bunch of buffs, <laughs> he's 15, 17 degens, and the fight is over. And Mojo wins, right. So yeah, that is my 19th rank 3 6 star. And uh, currently that's also just about finished for my current plans of champions to rank up. Now, I am extremely close to forming mutant and skill. Tier 5 CC, and I do have a cosmic Tier 5 CC, which I do not have any immediate plan for now. So I don't think I'm going to be taking up any new champions up to rank 3 for several weeks, probably like a month or a bit more even, because I'm completely drained of Tier 2 Alpha, I'm completely drained of Tier 5 Basics, and I also do not have a clear plan, which should be the best like next champion to take up until I pull something something changes in my roster but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you guys think about mojo and uh yeah i am going to catch you guys soon see ya hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so we have all the information about